Just to give kind of a real world, world example of this sort of general cluelessness about the crisis that we're in, you just go to your average parish, go to listen to your average homily. Most of the time, they're not challenging in any way. They don't convict you. I was just at a parish just maybe a few months ago, and the priest's a pretty good priest, you know, and it's an active parish, lots of families. But I remember I was sitting there. He was joking throughout the entire homily, and the parishioners were all laughing. There was like this ni nice little joke fest going on. There's nothing wrong with little lighthearted joking during homily sometimes. But, but I remember sitting there thinking, because it was going on for a long time, and I was kind of si sitting there thinking to myself, Father, are you aware that about 50% of the people sitting in the pews there, they're using contraception. Are you aware that a lot of the men there and some women too are looking at pornography regularly and probably yeah. don't think much is wrong with it? Are you aware that a lot of the people here, the young people are hooking up? A lot of people are having sex inside of marriage or living or cohabiting? Are you aware that a lot of the people in, your, in the pews right now are in invalid second marriages and therefore living in adultery? Are you aware that a huge swath of your parishioners are in an objective state of mortal sin. And if you are aware of that, why are you spending this one time a week when you have 20 minutes and you have a captive audience joking, laughing, what, you know, letting them go off and feel good about themselves and go back to the lives of mortal sin and eventually probably to hell? I mean, it's this cluelessness that there's a crisis going on and priests and bishops themselves are clueless too because you can tell by the way they talk on Sundays.